Hello everyone, welcome to Success Education. Today we'll be doing the workbook solution for English, that is Marigold workbook, uh, class five, unit number five, that is the lazy frog. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel till now, please do subscribe it for more videos. So we'll be starting with the question answers. First one: What does the frog do all day? The frog lies lazily on a log the whole day. Second. What does the frog do when his mother asks him to help her? When the frog's mother asks him to help her, he pretends to be deaf and does not move at all. Third, what does the frog do when a lady frog hops by? When a lady frog hops by, the frog does not even open an eye. Fourth, besides lazy, what other words can you think of to describe the frog so the answer is rude good for nothing and mannerless fifth do you like the frog's behavior no i do not like the frog's behavior now question number 2 that is write the correct option in the box first one fred is a lazy frog it's option number d second What does Fred do all day? It's option number A. Lolls upon a log. Third, when Fred's mother calls him, he does not bother to move. It is option number B. Fourth, when Fred's mother calls him, he pretends to be deaf. It is option number C. Fifth, if a lady frog passes by, Fred does not even open an eye. It is option number A. Sixth, a person who is hard of hearing is deaf it is option number b now question number 3 complete the sentences first one when the frog's mother calls him he pretends to be hard of hearing second when a lady frog hops by he does not even open an eye uh fourth one uh, means question number 4 write the rhyming words from the poem first one frog log second shark work third preferring hearing fourth heap asleep fifth past last sixth way say and seventh by i now question number 5 write the meanings of the words first one to loll means to lie around lazily second to shark means avoid doing something that you must do third in vain means without success fourth to prefer means to like better fifth hard of hearing means deaf sixth to bow means to bend to show respect fourth to hop means to jump now we will see the question answers for rip van winkle first one what kind of a man was rip van winkle Rip Van Winkle was a simple, good-natured, and kind man. Second, why did the children like Rip? The children liked Rip because he played with them, taught them to fly kites and shoot marbles, and told them long stories. Third, what was the only problem with Rip? The only problem with Rip was that he was very lazy. Fourth. What shows that Rip was a lazy man? Rip did not work on his own farm. Weeds grew, uh, grew on the farm. His fences were falling to pieces and his cow was going astray. Fifth one, who was his constant companion? Wolf his dog was his constant companion. Sixth, what would Rip do to avoid work? To avoid work Rip would walk away into the forest with his dog. 7th Describe the man that Rip saw on the mountains. The man that Rip saw on the mountains was a short old man with thick hair and grizzled beard. 8th What to were the old looking man doing? The old looking men were playing nine pins. 9th Describe the men who were playing nine pins. The men who were playing nine pins were all dressed the same way and they all had beards of various shapes and colors. 10th, what was strange about the men playing nine pins? 
Though the men were playing a game, their faces were serious and there was silence. Eleven. Why did Rip drink the contents of the barrel? Rip drank the contents of the barrel because he was frightened and he felt thirsty. Twelve. What happened when Rip drank the contents of the barrel? When Rip drank the contents of the barrel, he slowly fell into a deep sleep. Thirteenth. What did Rip see when he woke up? When Rip woke up, it was a bright sunny morning. and he found himself at the place where he had first met the old man 14 why was rip astonished when he stroked his chin when rip uh, stroked his chin he was astonished because his beard and grown a foot long and it was all white 15 who recognized rip an old woman who was rip's neighbor recognized him 16 how long had rip been asleep rip had been asleep for 20 years now question number 2 write the correct option in the box first one rip was a simple kind and good natured fellow it is option number b second The children liked Rip because it is option number A he played with them and told them stories. Third, Rip was a lazy man it is option number C. Fourth, who was Rip's constant companion it is option number D his dog. Fifth, wolf was Rip's it is option number A dog. Sixth, the short old man had grizzled beard it is option number C. 7th the odd looking men were playing nine pins it is option number d 8th the odd looking men had it's option number b beards of various shapes and colors 9th though the odd looking men were playing a game their faces were serious it is option number b 10th when rip saw the odd looking men he was trembling with fear it is option number a 11th When Rip drank the contents of the barrel, it's option number C. He fell into a deep sleep. Twelfth, when Rip went to his village, it's option number D. He did not know anyone there. Thirteenth, when Rip stroked his chin, he found that it's option number A. He had a long white beard. Fourteenth, the old woman who recognized Rip was, it's option number B. His neighbor. Now question number 3 that is true or false in that first answer is true second third and fourth are false fifth and sixth are true and seventh one is false now question number 4 complete the sentences first one rips village was situated at the foothills of the catskill mountain second The children of the village loved him because he played with them taught them to fly kites and and uh, shop ma- uh, marbles and told them long stories and shoot marbles and told them long stories third wolf his dog was his constant companion fourth the villagers stared at him because they had never seen him before Fifth, the old woman who recognized Rip was his old neighbor. Now, question number five: read, uh, Write uh, any two strange things about the men on the mountains. So, the first one is they were short and old men, and second, they were all dressed the same way. Question number six: Write any two things about Rip Van Winkle. So, the first one is he was a kind neighbor. and the second one is he was a simple and good natured man now question number 7 write the meanings of the words first one is kind and friendly second to waste time third to break up fourth faithful or loyal or steady fifth friend or partner sixth one is to understand seventh one is gray eighth one is to look at ninth one is to listen to Tenth one is to shake with fear. Eleventh one is to speak softly. Twelfth one is to climb down. Thirteenth one is to rub. 
फोर्टींथ वन इज सरप्राइज नाउ वी विल सी लेट्स लर्न मोर एंड दैट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज राइट टू राइमिंग वर्ड्स फर्स्ट वन शर्क क्लर्क जर्क सेकेंड हीप कीप स्वीप थर्ड स्ट्रोक ब्रोक स्मोक फोर्थ वेन ब्रेन ग्रेन एंड फिफ्थ बो बो प्लॉ ना क्वेश्चन नंबर टू राइट एनी थ्री वर्ड्स इन विच द लेटर के इज साइलेंट सो द आंसर इज नी नाइफ एंड नॉट ना क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री राइट एनी थ्री वर्ड्स इन विच द लेटर एच इज साइलेंट सो द आंसर इज ऑनेस्ट ऑनर एंड अवर ना क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर राइट एनी थ्री वर्ड्स इन विच द लेटर जी इज साइलेंट सो द आंसर इज नैट साइन एंड डिजाइन फिफ्थ वन इज राइट से any three words in which the letter l is silent so the answer is chalk half and should sixth one is write any three words in which the letter t is silent so the answer is whistle castle and listen now question number 7 uh, write any three words in which the letter g h is silent so the answer is neighbor daughter and fight Now question number eight. Write any three words in which the letter U E is silent. So the answer is tongue, antique, and technique. Now question number nine. Write three new things you have done last year. So the answer is first one. I have started learning Sanskrit. I have read many story books. I have visited my grandparents every Sunday. Now question number ten. uh write three things you have not done last year so i have not played cricket i have not eaten chocolates i have not seen an english movie now question number 11 that is fill in the blanks with the compound adjectives given in the brackets so first answer is world famous second one is be- uh, well behaved third one is part time fourth one is kind hearted fifth one is brightly lit Sixth one is well known. Seventh one is well educated. Eighth one is short haired. Ninth one is well dressed, and tenth one is old fashioned. Now question number twelve. Rewrite the sentences using the adverbs of frequency given in the bracket in the correct place. Okay, so first one is grandfather. Oh, often goes for a walk. Second, I rarely play cricket. Third, Nitin never comes on time. Fourth, I sometimes go to the temple. Fifth, Disha always does her homework neatly. Fifth, Bharat regularly visits the library. Seventh, Pooja rarely comes to the garden. And eighth, Gorav usually plays with his friends. Now, question number thirteen. Fill in the blanks with the opposites of the underlined words. So you can see the underlined words. I'll speak out the answers. So first one is polite. second one is arrived third one is funny fourth one is except fifth one is divide sixth one is never seventh one is coward eighth one is victory ninth one is hate and tenth one is presence now question number 14 write the sentences on my grandmother or my grandfather so here i have written a paragraph of about my grandmother uh, okay My favorite elderly person is my grandmother. My grandmother is 70 years old, but she is healthy and active. She has long white hair. She always wears a sari. Grandmother likes to cook, so she helps my mother in the kitchen. She also enjoys going for a walk with grandfather. Uh grandmother likes to read a lot. She often reads out stories to me. She is also fond of watching TV. Sometimes she sits with me and watches cartoon films. She also plays games with me. Grandmother helps me with my homework. I love my grandmother a lot. And here we come to the end of unit number 5 that is the lazy frog. I hope you have understood the complete chapter. If you have any doubts you can write in the comment section. I'll surely try to answer all the questions. Thank you for watching my video and do subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.